Good afternoon. Um, I would like to start with the question, not that question. Do segmentation algorithms in pathology really require labor and knowledge intensive manual annotations? Well, before we can answer a question like this, we have to define and look at the most common annotation types used in digital pathology. Um, the first one are dense annotations where in predefined region, in, in a predefined region of interest, all, if all pixels are annotated. Um, in the second one, we can cherry pick our annotations throughout the entire whole slide image. This of course means that we can easily annotate a lot of regions because there's no need to focus on uh, tissue tr transitions. <coughs> However, this is also of course bad because we don't have tissue, necessarily have tissue transitions in our data set. There are also a lot of non-annotated pixels in the, tra in the training set. To overcome this issue, we uh, can go to a dense data set where we have these transitions between the different tissue types. However, this of course means more knowledge to go uh, to set the defined border between the different tissue types and is of course more uh, label intensive. We try to overcome this issue to, uh, by introducing two loss balancing methods to train a segmentation model on sparse annotations and compare it to a very simple non-balancing method um, where only annotated pixels are taken into account as shown on the left bottom. Um, the first balancing method, for some reason it keeps continuing to the next slide. Uh, for so, uh, the, uh, the first balancing method is relatively simple where every, the weight of the pixel is uh, calculated based on the class occurrence per uh, patch. The second balancing method is the, the weight per pixel is calculated based on the uh, class occurrence per mini batch. And we try to, uh, we, we apply these three balancing methods, or two balancing methods to a 13 class segmentation task uh, trained on three different uh, annotation for uh, data sets. The first is sparse annotations, uh, annotations only, dense annotations only, or a combination between the two, but relatively small amount of dense annotations. Um, if you look at the results, we can see that the results actually are quite similar uh, throughout all the methods with different annotation types. This is something that we also see when we look at the quantitative results where the, very, the overall die score is uh, more or less equal to each other. So coming back to the question, do we really need uh, the labor intensive and time intensive annotations? Uh, for this particular task, I would say that yes, we do need very labor intensive annotations, however, not as much as one might think. And I would like to invite you to the poster for discussion later on. 